Just a young girl with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. Today I did was coming home from work and I did a little hit, little bit of a sheep's head fishing real quick on my way home. Got me a nice size sheep's head, and I'm um, also got a crappie uh, from this weekend that I'm gonna uh, clean too. So I can't show the actual cutting, but uh, I'm gonna show you the fillets I got off of that. Then uh, what I'll be frying it in is if I'm about to use this to clean my fish on this cardboard, but this is what I'll be frying the fish in in the Cool Daddy Elite like $40 from uh, Walmart so I would put the link in the description below you go to Walmart or we'll probably get it from Amazon but if I find a link I'll put it up in there in the uh, description page so let me go ahead and clean this fish and uh, I'm gonna show y'all the size of it real quick once I get it out the bag and get out the cooler all right one second the size of the sheep's head right here Okay, that's the size of sheep's head. It's about 15 and a half inches right there. Let's see, it's probably about four pounds, four or five pounds. But uh, this is what we're gonna be filleting today, right here. All right, let's go ahead and sit that on the cardboard. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fillet the crappie too. And here's the crappie right there. And the crappie was about a little over 10, 10 and a half inches right there. Nice size crappie. So we're going to go ahead and fillet these two and make them in, uh, put them in the bag and uh, season them up and cook them. Fry them up. Alright. Blood or nothing or guts on YouTube for whatever reason. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here. Then I'm gonna score along here. Then when I get to the end of the tail, I'm gonna push the knife all the way through. I'm gonna ride the knife all the way up. I'm gonna cut through the bones and then cut all this part off with the rib cage in it. Then I'm gonna just cut around the rib cage and get the meat off. But I'll show y'all the meat once I finish cutting it. I'm gonna do that with both sides. Same thing is going for the uh, crappie. All right, y'all. Right here is my sheep's head fillet. Both sides, right there. Got some nice meat off of that. And right here are the crappy fillets, right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet against the uh, the skin. I leave the scales on when I do this. Fillet against the uh, the skin and uh, get all the meat off of both of these, all four of these fillets. And I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. You can see this. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lay the fillet right on this. Get this from Walmart or Bass Pro. And I'm gonna take my knife right here. I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna run it all the way up. I'm on the skin. Laying off the skin part. 
Down for the crappy. Not much meat. Get a lot of these. Get a lot of meat. Into the side. All right, now, now that you have your fillet with the skin off, you just want to take off the uh, rib cage. So what I do is I just go around here, find a rib cage, just like a like a C. There's still some bones in there somewhere. Make sure I get all these bones out because I don't like picking with the bones. And there goes the rib cage right there. And it's, sometimes it's some bones like in the middle right here. I just split, cut it along the middle here. Where the bloodline is. Toss this middle piece. This middle piece, the bloodline, just toss that to the side. And there you have it. You have one fillet and another piece of fillet. And just get a bowl of water or something. Just drop them in there, clean them off. So let's get the other one. Get the rib cage off. I need a sharper knife, but it's sharp enough for today. Rip cage gone. And we'll cut along the bloodline. Some people you can eat these if you want, but I don't like mess with the bones. So I'll just go ahead and cut that middle piece out right there. More fillets. There's a bone. Nope. Yep, that's some. Put a little bone. Got cut up when I was playing. Just cut that little bone out. Another fillet. And a crappy. The same way. Rip cage out. You don't have to worry about cutting no bloodline on these. Then you got one nice fillet right there. And for the other one, rib cage gone, and that's how I do it. And I'm going to cut these in like two. You know, when I finish rinsing them off, I'm going to cut these into like chunks, like nuggets. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make some little nuggets and put them in some flour and some. Uh, Everglades seasoning, some uh, beer can seasoning, shake them up and put them in deep fry. So let me go ahead and wash these off. I get back to y'all and prepare the fry. Y'all know those little pieces of sheep's head and, and uh, the two crappy. Okay, that's the meat I got out of the little piece of uh, sheep's head that I got from each uh, filet and the crappy. So I'm gonna save this bag for tomorrow, a little snack for tomorrow night. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show y'all what the, I got out the. Uh, sheep's head fillets. I'm just gonna eat the sheep head tonight. This is what I got out of the fillets of sheep's head. I just cut them in chunks. Little sheep head nuggets. So this is what I got out of them. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse these off again, and then throw them in the bag and throw some uh, throw them in some flour season, and I'm gonna season it with uh, Everglades seasoning and uh, beer can seasoning. 
Just a little bit of Everglades because it's real salty. Just a, a little bit of it. But beer can season, it's not really salty. It's just got a lot of spices. So I put a gracious amount of that in it. Fryer, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this ready. Get it, got all the grease in there and get it ready to start frying and warming up. The seasons I'll be using is the Everglades season, all purpose seasoning. I'll be using that. And I'll be using the Weber beer can seasoning. I'll be dumping this in the flour. And I have my flour right here. So I'm going to go ahead and dump my seasoning in there and shake it up. And put the fish in it, shake it up, and throw them in the fryer. And by the time you finish all that, the fryer will be nice and hot and ready to start cooking. And we'll see how it goes. Added my sheephead fillets. So they already battered and I took them out the flour and to set them in the bowl so I can dump them straight into the fryer. Fryer is ready. Yeah, I don't think I have my camera on, but uh, I just put the, uh, I had the fillet, the fillets in this thing right here. So now I just dump them in the fryer. So I load them down in here and they're going to start frying. Let them start frying about 10 minutes or so. Then we'll come back and see how they turned out. One time what I did was I got my bowl right here. And what I did, I put flour in it. I mean, sorry, put uh, paper towels in it in order to get the grease off the fish. You know, I have a strainer for the grease in my fryer. I'm used to just putting them here so I can just eat right off the bowl because it's only me eating these tonight. So, so I can just... Dip them in ketchup with it or whatever I want to, tartar sauce, whatever. So that's how I do it. So let's wait till these fish are getting fried right now. So let's wait till they done. About a nice golden brown. So that's good enough right there. They've been sitting there about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So that looks good to me. Let them drain a little bit. And put them in the, on the, uh, in the flour. I mean in the uh, bowl product right there and sometimes the grease may you know all the uh, seasoning you may not season it after it's been in the grease so you can just afterwards so you know, I'm using a sprinkle a little bit of this uh, Everglades seasoning on it and just shake it up with a little uh, beer can seasoning on there Next, the taste test. Taste test. Take one. It's good. The meat's cooked. It should be. Been in for like 15 minutes. So, came out excellent. If y'all haven't had sheep's head, I advise you go catch one or know somebody that can catch one. Cook it, fry it, bake it, smoke it, however you like it. You got to try sheep's head. It's excellent. All right, until next time, Woody out. Later.